Hey, I'm Brian Buma. I'm a forest ecologist here at the University of Alaska Southeast. I'm an assistant professor of forest ecosystem ecology, and uh, I'm working on several projects with the forest. One of the most interesting is yellow cedar. Yellow cedar is this commercially, um, culturally, and economically important uh, species found in Southeast Alaska that's actually dying off really quickly due to climate change. Basically, in areas where there's not enough snow in the late spring, yellow cedar, even mature yellow cedar, big yellow cedar stands, uh, all die. Uh, they freeze to death. And this, is, this rapid die-off is, is of great concern to conservationists, ecologists, and timber managers. And we're trying to study not only where that decline is occurring, but how the stands and the species as a whole is faring in the north as well, where there's still enough snow, or it hasn't warmed up enough, um, to cause those problems, and where the range of the species seems to be expanding. So there are about 15 small disjunct yellow cedar populations on the landscape around Juneau, and the crux of our project is going and, and delineating the boundary of those populations um, for a landscape scale study. Within each population, we're doing a a detailed stem mapping methodology where we're mapping the geographic location of every single species, both yellow cedar and other tree species, in the stand, and then measuring associated environmental variables about each tree species. So one thing we were trying to figure out is where the yellow cedar seedlings are occurring within the yellow cedar stands, and so we subsampled for seedlings in 150 square meter plots that go inside the stand and 150 square meters outside the stand. We found yellow cedar seedlings only occurring on the inside part of the stand where the trees were already established, except for in this, this particular plot um, there were a lot of seedlings that were expanding outside of the edge of the yellow cedar stand and really sort of pushing the the stand farther um, to the north. We're getting this initial data about uh, the geographic location of our stands and we're hoping that in 10, 20, uh, even 50 years people could come back and resurvey the stands and see how they've changed over time.